Good afternoon, good morning. Uh, based on where you are right now, uh, I have promised to lecture you on how to operate computer. And we have two computer systems here. And we have laptop and we have desktop. And before we move further, before I give details on how to operate computer system we need to identify the computer parts you need to know the function of the computer parts you need to know how to use it you need to know the reason why we are using it so i would like to show you some parts of computer system now when we are talking about computer system this is complete computer system we call this one a uh, system unit. Some used to call it CPU. It's not CPU. We call it system unit. CPU is one of the components of the system unit. That CPU is the brain of the computer. Without CPU in the system unit, this one can be damaged. It can be destroyed. Even if it will not run. It will be hot and blue. So uh, that C uh, CPU that we say is the brain of the computer is inside the system units. Then this is a lab uh, monitor. So monitor is is uh, is like the eyes that we use to see. Monitor is the, is an output device that displays information that is monitor for you it displays the information to the user that is the uh, work of the monitor now when we are talking about the speaker this is the speaker computer speaker and this speaker is used to you know hear the sound of the computer this speaker is used to hear the sound of the computer listening to the sound of the computer then this is a keyboard a keyboard is used to enter data into the computer you want to write a day by the time you type uh, you type a d e a day it will enter into the computer directly that is the function of the uh, keyboard then this is a mouse a mouse is used to uh you know control the typing cursor in the computer the function of mouse is many it's used to open we can use it to open an application in the computer we can use it to drag and move the application or icon to another place we can use it to you know there are many things we can use this uh mouse for by the time we start the, we run the system you will see everything then this is a uh, webcam in case your system did not have internal webcam this is external webcam what are we using this web webcam for is to take picture and to you know take video picture and video it record it can record video and it can also take picture that is the work of the we uh, external webcam either internal or external webcam so then we also have software here we also have this is core 7 core draw 7 this is antivirus so we also have software the software is a set of instructions given to a computer to perform some specific task. Okay, 
let me give you another information of uh, the software. Software is a set of instructions run on the computer, telling computer what to do and how to do it. I have given you two definitions of software. First definition is that software is a set of instructions given to a computer to perform some specific task. And the second one is software is a set of instructions run on the computer telling computer what to do and how to do it. Uh, all this one makes a computer. When you have only system units, you cannot say you have computer. When you have only monitor, you cannot say you have computer. When you have only computer speaker, you cannot say you have computer. When you have external webcam, you cannot say you have computer. When you have this one, keyboard, that used to enter data into the computer directly, you cannot say you have computer. When you have mouse, you cannot say you have computer. But when you have all this one, system unit, monitor, uh, speaker, computer speaker, webcam, keyboard, mouse, we can now say yes, you have computer. Now, I believe you all know the part of computer. Now, we also have a printer. Printer is also part of computer and it's one of the output device. We have two types of device. We have input device and output device. Input device is any devices that allow you to enter data into the computer. For example, we have a uh, keyboard. Keyboard will allow you to enter your data directly into the computer. We also have output device. Now, this one is one of the output device. Output device is any device that allows you to see the results, that brings out the results. Is output device like monitor now. By the time you are typing, you'll be able to see the information through the monitor. That is output device. Now, let's go to another session. How to operate computer. As you are listening to this lecture, I want you to like it, I want you to subscribe, and I want you to share it. Next time, I want all of you to be here. We want to learn many things because some people have been calling me about this program that when am I going to do something like this so that they will, uh, they will gain more about it. So I say no problem. So let's just... Instead of using desktop, let's use laptop because all these things that you are looking at, the speaker, the monitor, all this one is inside a laptop. It's inside a laptop and I prefer laptop than desktop. This speaker now, as you are looking at this speaker, is inside a laptop. As you, are, as you are looking at this webcam, it's inside a laptop. As you are looking at the keyboard, this keyboard is also inside the, is inside the laptop. As you are looking at the mouse, this is a mouse. It's also here. This is a mouse. You did see it. Keyboard. This is also a keyboard. This is webcam. It's also there. The speaker. This is external speaker that we use with uh, desktop. Then the speaker of the laptop is also here. It's also here. And so on and so forth. Now, we want to try to do something on how to operate computer. We want to open computer now. And we want to see how... coming i'm arranging the yes mm -hmm. first thing is to locate the off and on button on either desktop or laptop locate off and on button 
I want you to know that when you go to the market today and you want to buy either laptop or desktop, there will be many buttons on it. Now, out of those buttons, you have to identify off and non button because if you don't know where off and non button is, you will have problem. You will not know how to on it. Now, let me tell you how you can get or locate off and on button. Now, look at this thing. Look at this thing very well. Hey, did you see this button? Did you see this logo? Anywhere you see this logo, this is where off and on button is located. Always look for this logo. Did you see the logo? Uh -huh. Anywhere you see this logo, that is where the off and on button is located. Now, let's check the laptop. Maybe we can also see the logo there. This is a laptop. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at the off and on button. Uh -huh. Did you see off and on button there? Yes, this is off and on button. Can you see the logo on the button? Uh, that is how to identify off and on button. Anywhere you see this logo, that is off and on button. Now, we want to on it now. Don't forget to plug your, uh, your laptop before you on it. And if you have good battery, you can, you can, you can hold it without plugging it. Now, I will just press it. Did you see it now? I have pressed it. I have pressed it. When you press it, you need to allow your computer to boot. That is first thing. Maybe the thing we the booting will take two minutes or one minute. You have to allow your computer to boot before you press anything. Now, I think the computer is ready for use. We can use the computer now. First thing is to locate start button. If you want to do anything on your computer, first thing is to locate off and I mean uh, start button. Where can we see start button? Now, just drag your cursor to this place. This is your cursor. You drag it to start button. Did you see start button? This is start button. Did you see start? <laughs> then you click it. It will bring some option. Then out of the option, then you look for the one you want to do. Maybe you are looking for particular thing. Okay, for example, let's look for uh let's look for one application that can make us to type. That is MS Word. MS Word. MS Word is Microsoft Word Office. Did you see Microsoft Office? Did you see Microsoft Office? As you are watching this one, I want you to make a comment. 
in the comment box if you don't understand anything just drop your comment by the time i see it then i will reply you so this is microsoft office did you see it microsoft office we want to work on it then you click on it then you look for microsoft office either 20 2007 or 2003 this is now microsoft office word 2003 then when you click it the something is still loading It's still loading. Did you see it? That is Microsoft Office Word. 20 2007 2007 but that is we are not going there for now we are not going there for now then i want to cancel it you did see this button that is where we cancel the program current program did you see it yeah. By the time we click it, then we have cancelled it. Now, let me tell you how you can use your mouse. You know, I mentioned mouse the other time, the function of mouse, that we can use mouse to click, drag, open, then control the cursor. So, I want to tell you how we can use that mouse now. Now, this is mouse. Did you see it? We call this one cursor. This one that is moving. We call it cursor. Cursor. But the external mouse control the mouse, uh, the cursor that you are seeing. This one. This cursor. The external mouse control the work of this cursor. Now, what are we using this? mouse to do we use it to drag now i want to drag an icon or this one uh icon then application something like that now this is one of the icon i will use my mouse to drag it did you see it i'm dragging it did you see it uh -huh. I want to use that mouse to open an application. Now, let me open one application for you. I will open that application by what? Double clicking. By what? Double clicking. Let me just open this folder. Music folder. This is now music folder. I have placed my cursor on the icon. I will just double click it. I will press it two times. This is I have pressed it. Or if you don't want to press it, you can place your cursor back on it like this. Then we have two button on the mouse right click and left click then you may press left click i mean right click when you press right click it will bring some option for you computer is asking you question that do you want to open it you know what you want to do 
do you want to open it if you want to open it you press it add vlc media players playlist that do you want to add it to the music if you want to do so open as notebook in one note do you want to do that do you want to share it with share it there is one application called share it do you want to play it you know we are talking about music with jet auto that jet auto is one of the application on the system did you see all the options here? Is computer is now asking you that okay? Do you want to cut it that people will not see it there again? Then you will paste it in another place. Computer is now telling you that do you want to copy it and paste it in another place? It's now asking you that do you want to form the shortcut that people can see it very well? Do you want to delete it so that people will not see it again, or you want to rename it, or you want to check the property, the details, the size, everything like that. Or you want to scan it with this antivirus, Mandaf, because I have installed that antivirus on it. Antivirus is good. Antivirus will always protect your computer. So, that is that about that. That is the function of mouse. You can attach your external mouse to your computer or you can be using the the one uh, provided for you on the laptop you can be using that one so all this one is just icon but is prevariable if you want to you know operate computer like this to go to start start menu start menu did you see it now this is start menu by the time you click it then you go to all program okay this is start menu you click it you go to all program when you go to all program you will see all the programs here you will see all the programs did you see it these are the programs that i have on the laptop here did you see it did you see it then if you don't see the one that you want you can scroll it down this is scroll bar you can just use mouse to this it then this is mandaf antivirus this it this is game if you want to play game you can click it this it Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, share, then like. So that next next video, you will see it. Then when we start the next video, you'll be the first person to, you know, see it. So help us share it, like, and subscribe. Then next time, I'm going to teach you how to type then how to lay your finger on the keyboard how to lay your finger on the keyboard so with this i believe you gain something you'll be able to do what you'll be able to type number one number two you'll be able to do what identify the off and non button that is the important thing is one of the important thing rather it's one of the important thing that you need to know to identify off and on button then you can identify on off and on button with this logo did you see the logo anywhere you see this logo that is how to on and off the computer now today before i go i want to teach you how to shut down it's not good to when you hunt the system it's not good to off it with the button because i don't want you to damage the system you do it the way they program it now you will go back to start 
button here. I mean, start menu here. Did you see start? Did you see start? Start is here. Then, when you click it like this, in front of all program, just go like this. Drag the mouse. You know, I said we can drag the mouse. By the time you drag it, the cursor will be moving. Now, did you see shut down here? This is shut down. Did you see shut down? There are many options. When you see arrow, there are many options in that place. So you click the arrow. We have what? We have switch user. If you have two user on it, log off. Lock, no. Restart, want to shut down. Restart, no. Sleep, no. Hibernate, no. What we want to do is to log off. It's the same thing with shut down. But it's uh, preferable to press shut down. When you see shut down, it's good for you to just press it. By the time you own it, uh, second day, in fact, you will really enjoy your system. You will enjoy your computer. But if you press this one now, this button, if you press this button now, in order to, uh, you know, to off your system, it's not really good. It's not really okay. That is why we both people do this one. Shut down. They program it there. Now, uh, I want to shut down, no? <laughs> I feel like continue, but uh, because of our time, uh, I will stop here, but just make sure you subscribe, like, and share. So, good day for now. Meet me next time. Bye.